All right, what's up, everyone? I don't know where I'm supposed to look with this. We are at the house today. I am doing the clutch job on the Ram 3500. As you see, two or three weeks ago, I was going to drift Appalachia. I wasn't able to quite make it because the truck throw out bearing and slave cylinder have now grown where the clutch is worn out. Slave cylinder, which is a sealed unit on these trucks, got out of its adjustment tolerances. It was adjusted all the way out. I was pressing the pedal as far as I could, but it wasn't releasing enough of the clutch pressure to be able to shift. So it wasn't a fun day. I had to end up driving the truck without a clutch at all. I hope I didn't do any damage to the transmission. We're about to drop the pan now and uh, see the fluid hopefully. There's nothing there. But the good news is I got a new clutch. I got a center force. I got a nice twin disc. I can already tell you, with just looking at them side by side, you can clearly see a lot of differences. All right, so the center force clutch right there. And then here's one of the discs. Look at the floater. Look how amazing that is. Recess, got some coolant cuts in it. The other disc and the flywheel flywheel's uh, pilot bearing is pinned. That's cool. The floaters here, you can see on the south bend, and these floaters are where the uh, center plate rides. And so when you press it, these are what keep the center plate in place. Now on the south bend, what they did was they had these little rubber things. So about four years ago in Seattle, I was driving St. Louis, FD St. Louis, straight on over to Seattle and took that drive. I was getting three weeks early. I wanted to be able to do some testing at the track. As I was pulling into the gate, those little rubber things had kicked out. The floating disc was rocking. It had already broken off these ears right here and sent it through the bell housing. Luckily, the Helds took me in for three weeks, let me use their garage. We swapped the bell housing and put another South Bend in it. Well, I didn't know once I ordered it, there was already a South Bend in the truck and that was kind of what gave me the issues. We had that, we drove with it, and then I ended up having to do a rear main seal on my truck. I took this clutch out and I went over to Clutch Specialty and I was like, hey, what's gonna make this thing shift better? You know, do we need to rebuild it? Do we need to do something? And he was like, guy, that is old technology. Those rubber bushings there on the floaters, that's from 1984. They're doing what they can. That was when we did the single disc clutch. And I mean, it shifted amazing because it had the same style of spring loaded as the center force does that you don't see on the south bend. Okay, now we found the best of both worlds. We got the spring loaded contraption that'll help it shift. We got no rubber floaters. We got some steel bushings right there on the center force that you saw on the flywheel. Those things are what is holding that plate in place. And I'm thinking we're gonna have a great clutch. It's gonna work for maybe 150,000 miles. That truck's already got 330 on us. So we could be looking at 500,000 before we're doing this again. That comes off first, and then this piece, and then this piece. All comes out, take out your Tim, come out here. If you didn't know, actually the uh, shifter hole is preferred method to fill the trans as well. It takes like 6.3 quarts, and if you fill it from the fill hole, you can only get about six quarts in there and they were seeing truck smoke six gear. So I usually just dump it right in in the shifter, do like six, six and a half, call it a day. Got the trans out, clutch fork's no good, beat up. So we gotta try and find one of those. Oh, Hound Dog's up now, he was laying down. Hound Doggy, making sure we're on the job. Single disc clutch is out, south bend there, center force there. The center force comes with some great instructions. For your pivot ball, your clutch fork, everything. The clutch should be orientated to disc. What you need to check, and that's where I'm at right now. Shaft, seal, and mine. Looks a bit concerning. So I am going to probably have to wait a day, wait for the Dodge dealership to open tomorrow, get that, pop that on before I can finish up. We got that set up right. But the most important thing we saw here was to check this. It shows you. Check, right? What did we find? Marred up input shaft retainer. Ended up getting one online for about 110 bucks. That one is 350. Um, that looks good still. We're gonna put a little grease on it. We just emery cloth that thing back to shining. Got those things torqued on in. Now we're making our way towards 
this installation. So we see our part number there, which this is gonna be there. Part number there, part number there. This is the way it's going in the transmission like this. Whoop. And then it's gonna move there. That'll be the pivot ball. Throw all bearing goes right here. I like that, so better do that. This thing had about 40 or 50,000 miles on it. And as you can see, clearly it's down past the wear bars and on this side i mean it's got a good bit of life left but still over here wasn't going to be doing much left the actual problem was the spring retainer there broke off of this thing i'm sure that could have something to do with how my the condition of the input shaft retainer look at these invasive spiders they just take my truck over i got one right here another one on the other side my truck's been parked like oh two weeks and these spiders come and take it like it's theirs. Y'all can have it. Now I got everything separated. All the clutch discs in order there. Flywheel there. Put some blue. How dog's coming to make sure we're good. And we are in there. Clutch is installed. The kit comes with a starter spacer. So I guess it spaces the starter back over here for the flywheel. Day two. Four days later, just got this thing in the mail, but my phone was updating, so that's my camera. So I tossed it on the truck, because we only got so much daylight, and I gotta get this thing together. So if you'll see my trans jack here, I got this set up, holding the trans real good and sturdy there. This one's not doing much. Strap's doing the most of the work. Let's hope this goes good. Trans job is done, clutch is in. Look at how amazing this thing shifts. Not a bit of problem, front or back, look at that. And this is a truck that was previously not able to go into gear at all right now because of the clutch and throttle bearing situation. And now we have the absolute best clutch in this truck that you could get on the market. I have full confidence in saying that that center force clutch is top of the line. I mean amazing. Spend the extra money. Do it once, do it right. This thing's gonna last 150, 200,000 miles. Easy. We're ready for Salt Lake City, boys and girls. Let's go! First drive with the truck. Oh man, it feels so amazing. So much better than it ever has. And big shout out to Pablo, my neighbor, last night for coming down and helping me get that thing in. He even said himself, as a diesel mechanic, him, he was like, that thing is just too much of a pill for any one person on a jack stand trying to get it in there right. I mean, it's hard. So we got it in together in like 20 minutes. Now we're driving. We got a, we got a rig, boys and girls. Now we go get some dunking and then have a very long day. So I've got to drive the truck a good bit now. I'm up at K1. We're doing some stuff on the race car. Today's been a very busy day. It's been an amazing day driving this thing. I have fallen back in love with my truck. So every clutch I've ever had previous, the South Bend, the other one, the single disc clutch, it always had a bit of a chatter. It was always very jerky when you would go to start. So it was always very hard to get it in gear. All these problems really. And I feel like Center Force has came through and fixed every problem that was ever there. The thing goes into gear like butter shifts super smooth no jerkiness off throttle super smooth i mean it has just changed the drivability of the truck it is night and day a different truck now it actually feels like a mercedes where where i believe this transmission was designed by mercedes so it's amazing have a, if you have a g56 dodge ram it's 100 percent needed heavy duty trucks get that center force in there that's a centrifugal system they have that's a game changer right there, boys. Do yourself a favor, love your truck again. Self-assigned force.